In the last episode, I showed you that I picked up a 1990 964 Porsche. If you haven't watched it yet, it's up in the cards. But right now, we're going through everything wrong with my new car. The plan on this 964 is going through all stages of ownership. I want to get it ready to drive, look decent, upgrade a few things, and down the road, we can start talking about more extreme measures. But for now, I'm here to enjoy it. I bought this car for myself and not to make a buck on it. Alright, let me show you the things that are wrong with my 964, as well as tell you about a couple of things I'm planning to do with the car. Let's go. So, if you're standing far away, it looks actually kind of good. But as soon as you're coming closer, you're starting to see the flaws, really. So, for example, these indicators here are busted up, at least on this side. But that's no biggie because these indicators are super cheap to buy, because they happen to be on a ton of different cars from that era. The paint is in somewhat okay condition in most places, it should polish up nicely for starters, but I'm sure down the line this car will have to get a full respray. On the rear right corner the paint is super dull, which could be due to the fact that it may have been repainted before. I'm sure we'll figure out more as we go. I'll try to polish that up as well and see how it looks. There's also some rust coming through around the window seal. I'm gonna take out the window and do all necessary repairs before moving on to a respray anyway. There is no more rear wiper either, but I'm gonna do a full delete including the wiper motor. I'll be ordering a nice glass plug, like I do in most of my cars I've owned. There's quite some paint chipping around the doors and the door handles have definitely seen better days. I'll give them a nice makeover soon, just like with the front windshield wiper arms. I'm actually pretty sure you can order them new fairly cheap, but that is such an easy restore that I'll most likely be doing it myself one of these days. The wheels have been poorly painted it seems, even the center caps have just been sprayed over. These are probably some stock Porsche wheels, please forgive me for not knowing anything about them, but I reckon I'll restore them eventually. For starters, I've already something super cheap and super cool on the way, which I can show you very soon, that will make the car look 10 times better. In my opinion, anyway. They have also done something really weird with the calipers. They appear to be blue, but painted over with some black really, really bad. So yeah, I'm gonna have to do a full refresh on the brakes too. As you can see, there's plenty to improve on this car already. Moving on. The emblem seal underneath is completely wrecked, and the emblem itself has seen better days. Easy fixes though. Come around the back again, the rear bump has quite a few scuffs and gonna need to be repainted as well. Going around the front on the opposite corner, you can see the same thing. Not really sure what sort of person was driving this, but hey, that's why I got it so cheap, right? The front indicators are in fairly good condition, but I'm actually looking into getting clear or even tinted ones like I have on the R34. As for the fog lights and the bits in between, I'm not sure if I will keep them or go for RS ducts yet, but there's also cracks already as you can perhaps see. Oh, and there's also some more rust under the lights, but that again will be an easy fix I imagine. But the crack above in that light is nasty. I might have to replace that entirely at some point. The lens on the other side appears to look fine, and there isn't really any visible damage on the fog light bits. The plug for the tow hook is missing as well, but I'm not bothered about that. I'll be buying or fabricating a nice hook for some cool details. The seals all around the car are not in the best condition either. I'll be looking into replacing a ton of seals at the same time when the time comes, as they are readily available and easy to find here in Germany unlike for certain skylines. In fact, all of them. Anyway, the mirrors have also seen better days, but I've seen that people tend to swap them for 993 mirrors, if I'm not mistaken, which look much nice and I'll definitely go for it if I find a good deal. Let me show you a tiny bit under the car. I apologize for the shaky footage, but for now it'll have to do. 
There's quite a few rusty bits underneath that will have to be addressed. You can also see how there's oil dripping from the exhaust. I believe we're having somewhat leaky valve cover, which I'll sort out as well soon. In a later video, we'll go into detail how I'm going to neutralize all the rust and protect it again, so there won't be any more issues down the road. If there's weld repairs to be done, I'll be taking care of that as well. No props. The suspension looks quite crusty as well, and I'm going to do an episode on what we're going to do to the suspension, as I'm not about to drop 2K plus on KWB3s, which are made in Germany, sold for more money in Germany than in the US, and doesn't have all the adjustability I expect from a modern coilover suspension. But hey, I'm not bitter. Let's move on to the interior. This interior just looks old. Feels old and mostly smells old. Literally everything is gonna go. Steering wheel, seats, door cards and the entire carpet. You can see right here how worn the floor mat already is. As I mentioned in the previous video, you can see here that the brake pedal remains slightly engaged after pumping them. Hopefully some WD-40 will sort that out. The seats appear to function to some degree, but they'll be gone up for sale anyway. We'll talk more about steering wheel and seats in some later video, but I've already ordered RS-style door cards and carpets, which will be one of the first upgrades on this car. With that carpet kit, these rear seats will be deleted entirely and I'll have some more room for a nice semi-cage. The condition of everything back here again appears old, but I guess that's to be expected. Going around to the front boot, I can't see anything badly wrong. There's no massive rust issue or anything, but it is pretty dirty and will need some deep cleaning, that's for sure. Let's go around the back instead. That right here is a bone stock 3.6 liter flat six. And look, it has an unreal airbox. Yep, that's gonna go in spectacular fashion. Anyway, down here is the valve cover that I believe is leaking. That's probably gonna be fun doing while the engine is inside the car. Overall, nothing is looking too bad really. I'll do some tidying up and maybe even go for a bypass pipe to remove the entire fan contraption in the top left corner. Other than that, nothing out of the ordinary. But yeah, there you have it. This is everything wrong with my 964. And I hope you'll be back for the upcoming videos when I'll be tackling everything bit by bit. See ya then.